Hello, I am back. This is part four of me reading The People Yes by Carl Sandburg. I have not been filming these because reasons. I wasn't happy with my filming setup. Now I have a new ring light and I'm filming on my phone, which has better audio and visual quality. So a more full experience of me. Also, I've been working mostly on graphic submissions because it's fun. I'm learning new things and it's less work than filming and editing. But I still want to read, so I am back. But before we start, I want to talk about my look because it is one of my favorites. I found the base dress. It's a simple red cocktail dress from Goldwater, which is a vintage secondhand thrift store in the East Village. Their store is still open online, so you can purchase stuff if you want something cute to wear while you're at home. I have built on top of the simple dress. I have added tool to puff up the sleeves and also added a tail, I mean train, and added these little fishies. I have one here, um, one here. It's a pocket. Hello. And also there's one on the hip. The headpiece is made by me with material from b and Trimming. The wig is from Arda. It's a gift from Gilda Webbit. Ooh, I look cute. Shall we read? Let's do it. Thirty. We'll see what we'll see. Time is a great teacher. Today me and tomorrow maybe you. This old anvil laughs at many broken hammers. What is bitter to stand against today may be sweet to remember tomorrow. Fine words butter no parsnips, moonlight dries no mittens. Whether the stone bumps the jug or the jug bumps the stone, it is bad for the jug. One hand washes the other and both wash the face. Better leave the child's nose dirty than wring it off. We all belong to the same big family and have the same smell. Handling honey, tar, or dung, some of it sticks to the fingers. The liar comes to believe his own lies. He who burns himself must sit on the blisters. God alone understands fools. The dumb mother understands the dumb child. To work hard, to live hard, to die hard, and then to go to hell after all that would be too damned hard. You can fool all the people part of the time, part of the people all the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. It takes all kinds of people to make a world. What is bred in the bone will tell. Between the inbreds and the crossbreeds, the argument goes on. You can breed them up as easy as you can breed them down. I don't know who my ancestors were, said a mongrel, but we've been descending for a long time. My ancestors, said the Cherokee blooded Oklahoman, didn't come over in the Mayflower, but we was there to meet the boat. Why, said the Denver Irish policeman as he arrested a Pawnee Indian IWW soap boxer, why don't you go back to where you came from? 31. Your low birth puts you beneath me, said Harmodius. If Acrates replying, the difference between you is my family begins with me, yours ends with you. 32. What the people learn out of lifting and hauling and waiting and losing and laughing goes into a scroll, an almanac, a record folding and unfolding, the music goes down and around. The story goes on and on, happens, forgets to happen, goes out, meets itself coming in, puts on disguises and drops them. Yes, yes, go on, go on, I'm listening. You hear that in one doorway. And in the next, oh, shut up, close your trap, button your tongue. You talk too much. The people, yes, the people. To the museum, the aquarium, the planetarium, the zoo, they go by thousands coming away to talk about mummies, camels, fish, and stars. The police and constables holding every one of them either a lawbreaker or law-abiding. The fingerprint expert swears no two of them ever has finger lines and circlings the same. The handwriting expert swears no one of them ever writes his name twice the same way. To the grocer and the banker, they are customers, depositors, investors. The politician counts them as voters, the newspaper editor as readers, the gambler as suckers. The priest holds each one, an immortal soul, in the care of Almighty God. 
In an old French town, the mayor ordered people to hang lanterns in front of their houses, which the people did. But the lanterns gave no light, so the mayor ordered they must put candles in the lanterns, which the people did. But the candles in the lanterns gave no light, whereupon the mayor ordered they must light the candles in the lanterns, which the people did, and thereupon there was light. The cauliflower is a cabbage with a college education. All she needs for housekeeping is a can opener. They'll fly high if you give them wings. Put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. Everybody talks about the weather and nobody does anything about it. The auk flies backwards so as to see where it's been. Blessed are they who expect nothing for they shall not be disappointed. You can send a boy to college but you can't make him think. The time to sell is when you have a customer. Sell the buffalo hide after you have killed the buffalo. The more you fill a barrel, the more it weighs unless you fill it with holes. A pound of iron or a pound of feathers weigh the same. Those in fear they might cast pearls before swine are often lacking in pearls. May you live to eat the hen that scratches over your grave. Sergeant, if a private calls you a damn fool, what of it? I'd throw him in the guardhouse. And what if he thinks you're a damn fool and don't say, then what? Nothing. Well, let it go at that. A white man drew a small circle in the sand and told the red man, this is what the Indian knows. And drawing a big circle around the small one, this is what the white man knows. The Indian took the stick and swept an immense ring around both circles. This is where the white man and the red man know nothing. Great men never feel great, say the Chinese. Small men never feel small. 33. Remember the chameleon? He was a well-behaved chameleon, and nothing could be brought against his record. As a chameleon, he had done the things that should have been done, and left undone the things that should have been left undone. He was a first-class, unimpeachable chameleon and nobody had anything on him. But he came to a scotch plaid and tried to cross it. In order to cross, he had to imitate six different yarn colors. First one, then another, and back to the first or second. He was a brave chameleon and died at the crossroads, true to his chameleon instincts. What kind of a liar are you? People lie because they don't remember clear what they saw. People lie because they can't help making a story better than it was the way it happened. People tell white lies so as to be decent to others. People lie in a pinch, hating to do it, but lying on because it might be worse. And people lie just to be liars for a crooked personal gain. What sort of liar are you? Which of these liars are you? 37. Get off this estate. What for? Because it's mine. Where did you get it? From my father. Where did he get it? From his father. And where did he get it? He fought for it. Well, I'll fight you for it. 38. Have you seen men handed refusals till they began to laugh at the notion of ever landing a job again, muttering with a laugh, it is driving me nuts and the family too, mumbling of hoodoos and jinx fear of defeat creeping in their vitals, have you never seen this, or do you kid yourself with a fond, soothing syrup of four words? Some folks won't work. Of course some folks won't work. They are sick, or worn out, or lazy, or misled with the big idea the idle poor should imitate the idle rich. Have you seen women and kids step out and hustle for the families, some in nightlife on the streets, some fighting other women and kids for the leavings of fruit and vegetable markets, or searching alleys and garbage dumps for scraps? Have you seen them with savings gone, furniture and keepsakes pawned, and the pawn tickets blown away in cold winds by one let down another ending in what you might call slums? To be named perhaps in case reports and tabulated and classified among those who have crossed over from the employables to the unemployables. What is the saga of the employables? What are the breaks they get? What are the dramas of personal fate spilled over from industrial transitions? What punishments handed bottom people who have wronged no man's house or things or person? Stocks are property, yes. Bonds are property, yes. Machines, land, buildings are property. Yes. A job is a property? 
No, nix, nah. -uh. The rights of property are guarded by ten thousand laws and fortresses. The right of a man to live by his work. What is this right? And why does it clamor? And who can hush it so it will stay hushed? And why does it speak, and though put down, speak again with strengths of the earth? 41. Why did the children put beans in their ears when the one thing we told the children they must not do was put beans in their ears? Why did the children pour molasses on the cat when the one thing we told the children they must not do was pour molasses on the cat? Good night. I'll be reading more soon.